Yo, what's up everybody, it's Wazelk here, giving you my review, my recap of WWE Backlash. I just finished watching it right now. And yo, first things first, I gotta talk about that crowd, man, because that was easy, easy top five crowd of all time, you get me? Those French crowd be going crazy, man. And it adds to the show always, you know what I mean? I love it when they do WWE abroad because it really adds to it. You know what I mean? They gotta bring it back to England, fam. We gotta get WWE pay per view, WrestleMania or something in England, bro. And like, the proof is in the pudding. Yo, before I talk about the show, let me show you something right now. We got like, what's that? Like five DVDs right there. You know what I mean? We even got one of the backlashes. All of that, it was like a quid, two quid each, you know what I'm saying? So I bought all that stack right there. Can't go wrong. Anyway, I've got my little notes written down on my phone here. Let's have a look what we're going to say. Match one, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton versus the Bloodline. Yo, the crowd was going wild for Randy Orton's theme. They were singing every single line to his song, man. They were going berserk, fam. Berserk to go and get in and try and split it up, but Kevin Owens having none of it, man. He's hitting like bare stunners on the security. It's crazy, and I mean bodies are piling up. Like I said, you've got like security trying to pull it apart. You get Kevin Owens mashing the stunners on him, and then all of a sudden Audis comes out, and you think he's gonna like call off a match summit, but nah, he says this is gonna be a street fight. This is gonna be a no holds barred match, and the crowd. Pops. Now we didn't get no Jacob Fatu, but Tonga Loa did show up as the newest member of the Bloodline. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm pretty sure Jacob Fatu was going to show up soon, but you know what I'm saying? It was a dope moment, man. I think it was a good match that he needed to now kick off this little run he's going to go on, you know what I mean? Because like, obviously he's been getting beat up a lot lately, but now he's going to go on this mad run. As like almost the new leader of a bloodline and you know I think it's a good like match to kickstart that if you get what I'm saying. That being said it was for the most part just your standard street fight match you know what I mean there was brawling in the crowd, whole ton of brawling on the ringside area you know there's a few weapons a table spot you know what I mean it was a bit basic so therefore I'm only gonna give it a two and a half stars but it was a good match in fact you know what for Randy Orton's entrance alone we'll give it a three stars you get me. Then we got match two. We got Bailey, Naomi, and Tiffany Stratton. Triple threat action, baby. This match was dope, man. Don't get me wrong, this match was a little bit sloppy. But I like this match, you know what I mean? You had this mad spot where Naomi was twerking on Stratton. Like, she got caught up in the ropes and she's like twerking on her head. I mean, I popped for that spot, man. I ain't seen that before. You ain't seen that nowhere else, you know what I mean? That was a good spot. And uh, oh, you got that like, two Alabama slams onto the announce table. That was another dope spot. It had some dope spots. Like I said, it had some sloppy moments, but I like this match, man. I was into it, like from beginning to end. Obviously, Bailey was gonna win it, and she did. But uh, still, made Tiffany Stratton look strong as hell, and you know she's gonna be on that title run soon. But yeah, it was a good match. Bailey retained. What can I say? I give that one three stars out of five as well. Match 3, Jey Uso versus Damian Priest. I fucking dug this match. I thought this match was dope. Jey Uso, man, he lit the fucking stadium on fire. People were going mad for his entrance and he's coming out in the crowd and everything. Bro, electricity. Do you know what I mean? The crowd was electric. They were going mad. And Damian Priest... And Jey Uso, they got mad chemistry together. This was actually my favourite match of the night. I fucking love this match, bro. It was so dope. On oh God, Jey Uso had the fucking crowd. From beginning to the end of this match. Cuz, on God, it was electric. And there was a few like little moments where he was like playing with crowd. Yeah, like, you think it was a house show or something, but nah, man, he was just playing into it. I don't blame him. You know what I'm saying? Now we did get interference from JD and Finn Balor. You know what I mean? It was expected, and uh, it caused like some heat. Damian Priest already told JD, "I don't want you out here." You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck back. I don't want you out here. I can beat this on my own. So obviously there's some argument going on there. But you know, as expected, uh, Damian Priest retained. 
like, those people, to be fair, saying that Jey Uso was going to win this, nah, man. They're not going to do all that stuff for money in the bank, you know what I mean? Senior money in the bank. And then retain at WrestleMania only to lose it by the last. That went happening. You know what I mean? He's got to have a bit of a run. Do I think Jey Uso is a future champion? Absolutely, but not this time, man. And uh, But it was a good match. Like I said, this is easily my favourite match of the night. Uh, I thought there was going to be some backstabbing at the end. I thought JD and Finn Balor, in fact, was going to go kick Damien's ass, but it didn't happen. It's going to happen. You know what I mean? They're definitely hinting at that breakup. It's going to be like Judgment Day versus... Damien Priest, and it's going to be dope when it happens. But uh, for now, yeah, good match. Uh, I'm giving it a four stars out of five. Match four, you're going to be pissed at me for this one. Okay, Jade Cargill and Bianca Bella versus the Kabuki Warriors. And uh, yeah, there was a couple of cool spots, don't get me wrong. There was some cool spots from Cargill, but it just wasn't my thing, man. Honestly, like, I don't know what it was, but this match could just not retain my attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, call me a fucking asshole, but I found it boring. I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a big Jade Cargill fan at the moment anyway. Like, maybe in time, my mind will change. I never really saw her in AEW or anything. But uh, it just went my thing. I'm not saying it was a bad match because it wasn't. Like I said, there were some good spots with uh, Jade and with Bianca Bella. The, you know, that, like, was it? Like, that weird ragdoll fucking spot they'd be doing. Like, yeah, it was good. It just wasn't my match, man. Uh, I'm not even going to rate it, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, Bianca and Jay Cargill get the victory and are your new women's tag team champions was there any other way this was gonna go happen match five cody rhodes versus aj styles this match was dope first of all aj did mention earlier on in the year that like this would be his final year of wrestling and i don't know how true that is it could be cap but he did say that he said this is gonna be his final year of wrestling and let me just say if this is gonna be his final year of wrestling he's going out with a bang because his wrestlemania match and now this you know what I mean? Dope back to back. AJ rocking the gear colours that he wore when he defeated Dusty Rhodes for the TNT Championship all the many years back. But with all that purple, man, he's looking like he could join the Judgment Day, to be fair. Maybe, like, replace Damien Priest when he gets kicked out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I put down here, the match started off a little slow. Uh, yeah, and I was thinking, like, don't be one of them AJ matches where there's no chemistry. Because the thing is, don't get me wrong, AJ Styles is one of the best wrestlers alive today. Like, he can put on a five-star match. He's dope as hell. Don't care what anybody says. He's awesome. But, occasionally, there's no chemistry, you know what I mean? And it can be with people he has chemistry with, but occasionally he has matches with people and there's just no chemistry. You've seen it with Kevin Owens, you've seen it with Shinsuke Nakamura. It happens, and I... I at the beginning, it started off so I thought it was going to be one of those matches. I genuinely thought, but it wasn't. It ended up being a dope match. There was chemistry. Absolutely. This match was fire. So I put down, there was some real good back and forth stuff with AJ Styles getting some good offense. One bit where AJ hits Cody with a burning hammer, and Cody kicks out at like one, and then Cody starts like hulking up, and then Cody hits a crossroad. But then, no joke, AJ kicks out of that crossroad. The fight continues, bro. It's like mad. The crowd's going ballistic. Cody hitting a mad Cody cutter from the top rope. This moment was dope. The crowd's going ballistic, like I said. Then Cody picks AJ up for the crossroads. Pins. One, two, three. Cody Rhodes retains. This one is getting a four stars out of five for me. You know what I mean? Uh, in time, that might go up, but for now, four stars. This match was dope, man. I'd say if you was going to watch one st uh, one match from the entire show, even though my favourite one was probably the one earlier, like I mentioned with Damien Priest, but if you was to watch one match, I would probably recommend this one. I think most people will be into this one because it was dope, man. It, it, it was fucking madness. So my verdict, yeah, it was a good pay-per-view, I can't lie. French crowd was into it beginning to end, they absolutely loved it, uh, they added to the pay-per-view massively, it was a very predictable pay-per-view, like I said, I mean, I got 5 out of 5 on my predictions, you know what I'm saying, but uh, that's not necessarily bad, you know what I mean, sometimes like a pay-per-view has to be predictable, it can't always be unpredictable, you know what I'm saying, it's not necessarily a bad thing, so yeah man, uh, good pay-per-view all in all, I dug it, blah blah blah, yeah, Pay-per-view, I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. So everybody, that's my little reaction, recap, whatever you want to call it, to Backlash 2024. 4 out of 5. 
dope ass pay-per-view check it out if you haven't already